in the beginning. In the beginning, there was no earth or sky or sea or animal. Then God spoke in the darkness, let there be light. And right away, there was light. That's good, said God. That was the first day. On the second day, God made the earth. Over it, he carefully hung a vast blue sky. He stood back and admired his creation. That's good too, said God, and the second day was over. The next morning, God put all the water in one place and all the dry land in another. When he had finished that, God made plants to cover the land. All sorts of trees and grass began, began to grow. It's looking great, said God, and that was the end of the third day. On the fourth day, God looked around and thought the daylight still needs a bit more work and the night is just too dark. So he made the sun to light the sky during the day and the moon and stars to add a bit of sparkle to the night. God said, this is coming along very well. The next day, God filled the ocean with light. There were millions of fish swimming through the water. God made birds too. He sent them soaring through the air. Ah, oh, that's, that is good said God. The sky grew dark and that was the end of the fifth day. On, on the sixth day, God added creatures to the land. He added everything from ants to zebras, but still he felt something was missing. So God added people to enjoy and take care of all that he had created. God looked around and was happy with all he had made. After six days, the whole universe was finished. On the seventh day, God had a nice long rest and enjoyed looking at all he had made.